Three Smiles, episode 123. Welcome back to another free to play episode of our free to play series called Free Smiles. All right. So it is a CVC kind of a day, right? We also have a 10x event for Siffy. Oh. Do I save or do I go for it, guys? A Siffy would be. Nah, I don't I don't think I need a Siffy. Like not I'm not desperate for a Siffy, you know? Yeah. I think we'll pass on that. I kinda wanna save towards the fusion that's coming up pretty soon. Speaking of the fusion, <laughs> there was actually a nerf that just took place and it was for the champion Orin. Well you can't really see her here at the moment, but Orin is a poisoner who is very similar to a Teodor and a Dark Hill, but he's getting nerfed to the ground, so unfortunately, yeah, a lot of you that were planning on going for the epic champion because he's going to be the epic, you need four Orns to be able to fuse the legendary champion. I guess that's kind of out the window now, right? So yeah. That is the most recent update news. So let's see what we've got from rewards here. Yes, we got a voice shard. That is beautiful. It's, uh, no, five star. No, I don't want to keep that. S speed, nice. I'll, I'll keep that. This has speed as well. Definitely keep that. Wow, those are those are decent substats, but all low rolls and it's a five star. So no thanks. Okay, what's going on? Hello. Uh, all right, and more HP percentage with five stars. No thanks. Um, no, and no. Yeah, we got some voice shard and some gems, so that is really great. Okay, and over to tag. Okay, we have six hours left on that. We could go ahead and collect this actually, and we should be good for that too. Yeah, let's go ahead and collect that. Yeah, so I think I'm like two or three away from Jackstar. I don't have that fully completed here. Nice, the Warrior Circle pack actually popped up. So it actually disappeared early and I was hoping that it'll pop up as soon as we make a video. But we are three more, three more for Jackstar. And oh, we just finished our Akoth guys. We finally got our Akoth from the Doom Tower Secret Rooms. And I was super excited for him before when I didn't have an AOE HP burn champion, but now I have multiple. So I'm not as excited, but I'm I'm just kind of glad that I finally completed it, you know? Um, yeah, eventually I will... I think I am going to be summoning these two this weekend. If there's a champ chase or next weekend. I think... I think next weekend is going to be the champ chase. And this weekend is going to be summon Rush, I believe. Or... or I, I don't remember. But I am planning on summoning these two eventually. Because I do need to work on the Faction Wars for Skinwalkers. Because it's lacking very very heavily okay we could go ahead and collect all this we'll just collect that first but we you know what i think we can just go ahead and collect it because we're not going to burn our energy because we're, we're actually waiting for the fusion to take place and then that's what we're saving for at the moment and we're not really contributing at all here sorry about that team okay so uh, any other rewards we got to collect okay we have that so it's unfortunate guys i'm not going to be able to complete this I do apologize for letting whomever down that I said uh, I was going to complete it or go for it this time. But, you know, it's it's very tedious to be at the moment. Sorry, guys. Um, okay, anything else? Oh, one more huge announcement. Not announcement, but more of an update. So I recently won a giveaway from Rats. Rats actually posted on Discord to... I guess whoever wanted to win the reward. So we actually we actually ended up being one of the winners for one epic or one epic book, one voice shard, and 540 gems. So huge shout out to Rats. Thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to win in the first place. So yeah, this is another way a lot of you out there that are free to play or low spender, you can always participate in CC or counter content creator giveaways because they do them every month. Uh, a lot of tier two content creators, a lot of tier three content creators out there. And I think tier one content creators can also give out gems too, I believe. Or maybe it's that too. I'm not I'm not certain. 
Maybe it's just the second tier. But there's plenty of content creators out there that do gem giveaways all the time, including myself on stream. So if you guys are ever interested in winning gems, shards, or books, then make sure to participate on their YouTube channel, their Twitch channel, or, where, or even the Discord channel. I do that time to time on my Discord channel too. But yeah, so that is one way for free to play and low spenders and anybody for that matter can try to win these rewards. Yeah, I think this is completely fair game. Okay, you could say like, oh, you're no longer free to play. No, you're you're still definitely free to play because this, this is open to anybody. You You have the option to try to win these. And all you have to do is just try to do it. I'm not spending on my account, right? I never even go out of my way to get this done, try to, to benefit off of this. Eventually, I will want to do this, but you know, I don't really go out of my way to ask anybody to get do the referrals for me on even on my main account. I still haven't done a single one to this day on my main account. So yeah, it's completely fair game, I'd say. So anyways, uh, on to clan boss rewards as well. Oh yeah, Hydra boss too. So come on, give me something amazing. Oh, another voice shard, guys. Amazing. Yeah, I'll keep that. Come on, one more. Void or sacred? Yes. We're so lucky today, guys. We're so lucky. Oh, crit rate and crit damage. Hopefully the last one lands on attack percentage. That will be really cool. Wow, that's really nice, though. Yeah, another sacred shard, guys. Awesome. So we are stacking up really, really nicely in the shard department, right? Okay, and we also had the clan boss here or hydra boss so let's get that out of the way okay okay mithrala uh more soul stones and we got a okay that is something i could roll on if we do like triple rolls or quad roll i can yeah i could probably re-roll on this yeah or actually no if we hit all accuracy that could be really good too yeah um uh, we got a on a weapon hp percentage and this is the protection set, right? Oh, that's actually pretty solid. Yeah. Okay, another one. Okay. Yeah. So let's see what we got. Let's start it off with them soul stones. Here we go. Plarium. Please bless this account. Dude, it's been such a long time since I got a legendary champion off of this. Come on, Plarium. I'm due, right? I gotta get something. Please. An epic? Uh, duck. I think I already have that. Yeah, I'm not interested. Come on, give us gold. Come on. Oh, man. It's so hard to get these guys. Really, really hard. We actually have one more we can go for here. Okay, here we go. Yeah, one more. Please. Clarium. Gold. Yes! Oh, no! <laughs> no! Oh, that's not what I wanted to see. I don't even have this champion. And, yeah... Uh, not not really interested in a long beard. I mean, it's cool though. We did get a legendary, right? We haven't seen those in a while. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Let's take a look at the shop offers. I noticed that you guys have been really liking these breakdowns. Uh, I've been getting a lot of DMs and comments saying you guys like these breakdowns that I do during the episode. So I I will try to do them more regularly. Okay. So starting with the void epic. So I don't really know the breakdown for this year in the middle, but. This pack in general, even for like the, the big offer, right? It's going to be the best voice art pack for a string pack. Or actually the best voice art pack overall that we'll see like over time. Unless it's like a holiday occasion or like a really special case, right? Like Black Friday or something like that. Then generally these are the best voice art pack offers we're going to see. This string pack offer. And onto the next one here. I mean, this one I always go over. It's always a solid deal. Um, this one is this one is a solid deal as well. It's a buy one get one free basically, right? Uh, they double your resources for the same price you would initially see. This is always a decent overall good deal overall. And this one we talked about before that if you had to choose between the trio or the monthly, you you have a better uh, value from the monthly pack than the trio shard pack. For this one here, honestly, it's it's not really worth it, guys. This is not a good pack. It's pretty bad. Yeah, so you go through one of these, the best value here is definitely going to be 3.6, 3.75. It's going to be the chickens here, actually. And hmm, one point, yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely going to be the chickens. And then here, yeah, these aren't these aren't really that much. These are really not that much. And the best value here is definitely going to be the energy, most likely. Yeah, it's this is not really worth it, guys. It's below average, like no matter how you slice it, no matter what uh, angle you go at it, it's going to be below average. So 
yeah, I would I would personally just pass on that. Okay, Warrior Circles pack. Now, Warrior Circles pack you only see once every if you're if you don't spend at all, right? You're gonna see this pack all the time. If you don't spend for a long time, so let's say you bought something 25 to 30 days later, then you'll see a Warrior Circles pack. And every day it changes, right? Um this pack here though, so let's see, 3.6. That is 0.65625. You know, it's it's about average actually. Yeah. So it's actually a little bit above average. So this pack is just about five dollar fifty cents or so, or about around there, around that mark. So it's not a terrible deal. But if I had to pick one of the World Circles pack, right? This is not this is not the one I would go for because there's a much better value warrior circles pack that I actually covered in the last episode I think that is the one that I would go for something like that something like this I I wouldn't go for this one because again if you as soon as you buy this warrior circles pack you're not gonna see another one for a really really long time okay this pack here this is going to be the best one of the best ways to get a lot of books at once the problem is you have to go through all of this to get the best value which is at the bonus offer then you kind of recoup a lot of what you spent and get a better balance of what you spent overall but it's going to be slightly below average i think it's below average if anything so i would unless you're really really desperate for books i would probably stay away from this as well and this one overall is not that great so that pretty much covers the pack offers let's see what is going on we still have faction wars yeah, we have to do this. So we did complete that already. I think the next faction wars I'm going to be tackling is definitely going to be the Shadowkin because we have that almost done. Barbarian, we're not really close, but we're doing well on that. I think the next one might be one of the Lizardmen, possibly. I think that might be our next finish because that one, that one we have a really strong faction for. But they are going to be releasing a new faction, which is Sylvan. And if you guys are wondering, is are they going to be adding a Sylvan faction right away? In order for you to get Lydia. So it's going to take a long time before they add the Silver Faction, I say. Maybe not a long time, but they have to release more champions because what they have just now is not enough to just release the Faction Wars instantly. Because even with the Shadowkin, I don't think they put it out immediately. They waited a little bit for new champions to come out, be added, give more people time to finish and get their Lydia, and so on and so forth. Okay, so as far as the events going on right now, we do have the Fusion warm up event as well. And I, I started a day behind on this, and I don't think I'm going to be able to get this voice shirt anymore, which is really, really unfortunate. They actually they actually kind of snuck this one in, guys. I've never seen them add a voice shirt to the bottom here like that. Because so most people that look at this, they'll just, like, they're not really, maybe they'll notice this, or maybe, you see how, like, that voice shirt is part of that picture in the background. It's almost like it's part of the picture in the background, so it might just go unnoticed, right? So most people that do the Fusion warm-up event, they always know that the Anxious shirt is at the end of it. And if you scroll down a little more, you'll see a hidden voice shard down here. And I was one of those people that did not catch that, so very unfortunate. So what else? As far as tournaments, this is something we're definitely not going to be doing because it's orcs only. Yeah, today's going to be kind of a short video, guys. I just wanted to give you an update on, uh, I guess, like, just what's going on with the news of the Orn nerf. Hope you guys enjoy my content, and if you do, please make sure to subscribe. Hit the like button, and I'll see you all in the next video.